Scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms initiate this afternoon. Small hail and gusty winds up to 35 miles per hour will be possible. They're actually really good. My whole plan, I think, is going to be screwed because of the weather. I just read the prologue and I'm crying already. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another edition of Instagram Controls My Weekend. It is the Queer Weekend, which is hosted by Kathy and Rogan, and I'm planning to read some queer middle grade. Actually, it's all trans middle grade, and I'm super excited. So last night, I put up some polls. I went to a concert, and so I'm kind of hoping I can just kind of stay in and read I'm not sure if that's what's going to happen, but it is currently 9.50 a.m. and I need coffee. For the weekend, I am planning to read the rest of my library books, which happen to be my trans middle grade. I have three books here. Two are from the library. One is not. It's an arc. So right now, I am going to look at the polls. I put up two polls last night. One for what book I should read first, and second was what way I should have my coffee at home or go out. Please pick at home because I don't feel like going out. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. Okay, so Opie is man enough has one, <laughs> and I kind of predicted that. However, I really wanted a touch of ruckus to win because I'm still in the middle of it and I kind of just wanted to finish it, but it's fine. 71% voted for me to go out to get coffee and I don't want to do that. Um, so that's nice. <laughs> what I might do is just have some coffee now and then go out later and have some because I will still during the course of this video, I do mention that I didn't go out to get coffee because of the weather. You'll see, but the poll actually said at the end of the day to make it at home, so I actually did end up completing this poll. Now back to the video. We'll still complete the task, but I need it now because I had a long night. So that's what I'm going to do because I need it right now. <laughs> So my next poll is going to be hot or iced. I'll, I'll figure out where I'll go and get coffee later. Um, I can just walk to like Wawa or something like that. But I really need some right now. And I don't feel like going out. So that's my rule. <laughs> okay, so I am going to figure out where to go get coffee. And I am going to start reading Obi is Man Enough. If you missed my library haul, I'm reading this for middle grade March. And it is about a trans swimmer by a trans swimmer. So super excited to start this. I'll pick a bookmark and then I'm going to have my own coffee and then figure out where to go. Hello, I'm a little bit more energized now. In the first clip, I was tired and it just woken up so hello welcome to the video it is the queer weekend and i'm going to be having instagram control what i do for the weekend and i'm already failing <laughs> so here is what i'm gonna do uh it's nice out so i'm going to go and walk into town uh, there's Wawa there where, where I could get some coffee. I asked you if I should get hot or iced. Right now, iced is winning, which is nice for me. I love an iced coffee and I'm excited. So when I get there, I'll probably ask you what I should get or I'll just treat myself and get myself my own thing. And then I'll probably get lunch there. I have a busy day for the evening. At 4 p.m., I'm going to be recording an episode of my podcast with Beck from Mooney Reads by Starlight. We tried to do it last week, but for some reason, my computer was not picking up the desktop audio, therefore I wouldn't be able to hear them. So we're going to try it again today. Hopefully it works. And so that is my plan for the end of the day. So according to the weather service, it says scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms initiate this afternoon. Small hail and gusty winds up to 35 miles per hour will be possible. These scattered showers and thunderstorms will continue into the early evening hours, wrapping up at 9 p.m. If outside today, please be prepared for rapidly changing weather conditions and seek shelter. 
during any thunderstorms or strong or showers. So if that actually ends up happening, I apologize that I will not be able to go out and get coffee. <laughs> Am I mad about it? No, but if that happens, I'll just do it tomorrow. I'll just go out and get coffee tomorrow. It's not a big deal. It's my video. So those are my plans for the day. I am going to get started reading Obi is Man Enough. I have some iced coffee just for now. We'll see what happens with the weather, but I feel like I'm going to have to stay in. So I have a pretty busy evening, but I'm going to get started on reading my first book. So I was assuming that it was going to be nice out because it's sunny right now. So I was like, cool, it's going to be fine. It's not going to rain. So hopefully it doesn't rain, <laughs> but who knows, or, or hail actually, it's supposed to also hail. If you saw my video where I had booktubers and book talkers control what I did for the weekend, that'll be up above. I really enjoy that video. And I was going to, it was going to be like on the same level as that, where I just go around to those places. And, uh, that's, that might not happen. <laughs> My whole plan I think is going to be screwed because of the weather. So as of now, reading outside looks like it's winning, but hopefully someone tells me in the next couple minutes that I should read inside because I was planning to go and read outside and have my iced coffee. The results are in and the poll says 55% would like me to read inside and you're all looking out for me. <laughs> I am going to read inside and it's going to be a great time. And I'm happy because I can just do everything tomorrow that I wanted to do today. If the weather permits, I mean, I'm sure you'll understand. If you would like to see more videos where I have things control what I'm doing, feel free to hit subscribe. Right now, I'm going to go and read. Hello, I just read the prologue and I'm crying already. <laughs> this is about a boy named Obi. He's trans and he gets kicked off the swim team at his school because he's trans and his coach is a piece of shit. And I just am loving that he has a supportive family and I just know that I'm going to love this book and it's going to make me cry a lot. I really appreciate the beginning, like before the book actually starts, there's a disclaimer for trans people, which I love. It says, Obi is a transgender boy who experiences transphobia throughout the story. If you are not transgender, please recognize that this transphobia does not represent all the hatred and discrimination we experience. Still, it is an accurate representation that some experience. Certain moments in this book may be difficult to read. For those who have experienced similar discrimination, please take care of yourself as you read, especially if you are transgender. Which I just love. I wish more trans books had that. And this is just why we need content warnings. Because sometimes, like, I literally started this book and as it said there was transphobia, I was like, oh no, I don't want that to be the first book I start because I don't want to be, like, upset and uncomfortable during this video, you know? Like, I'm just trying to have a nice weekend and I don't want to be uncomfortable. But so far, I'm really enjoying it. And as for the weather, it's still nice out, but there are clouds. So the weather could actually just be deceiving me, but the poll still says to read inside. So that's what I'm going to do, and I will see you later. It is four o'clock and I am about to hop on my call with Beck to record the podcast. I'm super excited and I just wanted to pop in and say I am 78 pages into OB and I'm loving it so much. It is over 300 pages. The book is 319 pages so I feel like I'm going to get a lot of reading done tonight when I host sprints. I'm not sure what the weather is doing. As you can see now it is sunny. 
earlier I recorded that it was not sunny and it was raining. So I don't really know what my plans are going to be for the rest of the day because the weather is just determining what I do and it looks like it's not going to rain tomorrow. But I mean, who even knows what's happening anymore? So I'm going to go hop on my call with Beck and I will be back. And then at 8 p.m. I'm hosting sprints. So I do have a reading filled night, but hopefully you'll be able to determine what I eat for dinner. But I have to go get on a call and I will see you afterwards. And so I was always so confused because other people would be like, oh, well, I came out as a child. So I was always like, wait am I then? Like, I don't know. Like, I, maybe I didn't know as a kid. And it's like, that's not really the case for everybody. Absolutely. And like, some people end up going like through so many different identities. Because like, for me, I came out when I was the first time <laughs> uh, when I was around. <laughs> Hello, I finished recording the podcast. It was awesome. I'm going to hopefully get some editing done tomorrow. If you missed my other video where I had Instagram control my weekend, I did something out of the books I read. So I ended up getting tacos because they ate tacos or something like that in the book that I read. So I'm gonna do the same thing here, but I'm not sure what that's going to be yet. I'll pick that tomorrow. So I put up a poll, should I get tacos or a cheesesteak? They're very different things, but I want the tacos because that place that I've ordered from is really good and I haven't had it in a while. And so I'm kind of hoping that wins, but I've also been craving a cheesesteak, so that's also fine. So I will be back once it has been some time and I, like, I should actually order soon. So I put up the poll 11 minutes ago and right now it is at 50-50. So I am going to wait 15 minutes and then I'll come back, check the poll, order, and then host my sprints. I was a little bit hesitant to do them because honestly, the concert last night was so exhausting because my favorite band, The Wonder Years, I went to see them. They're up here. <laughs> this thing up here is a Wonder Years quote. And it was like a brand thing that they, they had like a partnership with this flag company Oxford pendants or I guess like a pendant company and I have that up here. They're my favorite band. They're doing a anniversary tour for their two records Suburbia and Upsides and I've been a fan of them for 11 years. The first time I went to see them was for <laughs> Upsides and so it was very nostalgic. I got home around like 12 30 a.m. and so I haven't been to a concert in a while the last time I went was water parks and I think that might have been in December so it's been a while and I am fully vaccinated. I wore a mask the whole time. I do that every time but I'm just a little bit tired and sore so I think I might just host sprints here because I am tired and I just did the podcast and all of that so that also took some of my energy and so I'm gonna read, wait for the poll, and then order my food. I'll give it five more minutes, but I think you don't want me to be happy. <laughs> I mean, I'll be happy with a cheesesteak, but I really wanted those tacos. I had just been wanting them, and now I feel... <laughs> I don't know how I feel. I feel tired is really what the problem is. I apologize for what I said earlier. I love my audience. <laughs> I love my Instagram followers. Because you chose for me to get tacos and I am so happy. It was at 50-50 and I just checked and now it says tacos. I'll also have a screenshot up. I'm gonna go and order. I am so excited. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. <laughs>
hello and good morning. It is 9 a.m. and I woke up specifically so I could finish Obi. I am obsessed with it. It is so good. Our reading sprints went so good last night, so thank you to everybody who joined me. I had so much fun. Uh, the tacos were really great. I love that place and I haven't had them in a while, so thank you to everybody who voted because I think like after sprints or something like that, the poll was like unanimously was tacos and so thank you for that i really appreciate it i already got my coffee this morning i got some iced coffee it's like a vanilla starbucks thing and um that's because we don't really have any coffee left so i just took some of this so i just queued up a poll for you to vote on what i should read next because I have a feeling I'm gonna finish Obi in the next hour or two. So I have two books remaining, A Touch of Ruckus or Too Bright to See. I would like to read Too Bright to See and then wrap up the readathon with A Touch of Ruckus, but we'll see what you pick. And then I will just, we're just gonna go with the flow today and see what happens. And if I need your help, then I will ask you. <laughs> I. I don't know. I just want to read today. That's all I want to do. So I'm going to go and read the rest of Obi and I will be back with my final thoughts. I just finished the book and I am a mess. I am a teary mess. And oh my god, that was incredible. I really enjoyed it. I will talk to you about it later when I can actually put all of my words together. I'm going to go to the store and I also have to check the poll to see what I'm going to read next. It's about to rain. I put up a poll and then I quickly deleted it. I was going to go to the park and read, but the weather said not today. So I am not going to do that, but I am going to try and pick up some of the stuff that I read in OB is Man Enough. There are a couple foods that he and a few other characters were eating and I want to try them so I'm gonna do that and now let me check the poll to see what I read next. When I looked at the poll last, Too Bright to See was winning so let's see what we have here. The poll says Too Bright to See is our winner. There are three votes in between so it's actually a pretty close call but I'm excited to read too bright to see. It looks like my plans are coming to fruition, so I am very excited to start Too Bright to See. I'm gonna start it, I'm gonna go to the store, and I will be back when that is all done. Hello, it is 3 p.m. I'm back from the store. I picked up the rainbow sherbet, which is in the freezer for later, and I have the jalapeno chips. And if you know me, I'm fine with spice. I love me a jalapeno. I have never had these before, so I'm really excited to try them. And I also made myself a sandwich, not the kind that Obi got in the book. His had like mayonnaise and onions and it was a whole ordeal and I was not going to do that. So I just got some of the snacks and I'm gonna try them. But since I'm about to have lunch, I thought that I would try the chips and let you know how I like them. Luckily, my walk to the store is only five minutes, but as I was walking, it was snowing a lot. It didn't stick or anything, it was just flurrying, but it did stop when I left. I just thought it was so ironic that I planned this whole weekend to go outside and read. And I didn't even, it didn't even dawn on me that the weather would be bad because I think it's spring, it's gonna be great, but no, apparently snow. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm gonna go and have lunch and then I'll try the chips and I will let you know my thoughts. Okay, wait. I actually forgot to mention that there's hockey on at six and I think that is more so because I wasn't planning on watching it. <laughs> and hear me out. It's been rough. 
it's been rough. Our captain got traded, and he's been our captain since I've been a fan of the team, and that's been over 14 years. And uh, so I have just been a little bit sad, bummed, because our team sucks, and now our team just sucks more, and it's just a horrible season to be a fan of this team. <laughs> So now I'm rooting for the Florida Panthers and for the Maple Leafs to get through. More so for um, Florida because that's where our captain went. So if you are a Florida Panthers fan, I hope you win the cup. And I hope that <laughs> my team gets better because we are bad. We are really bad. And so maybe I'll just read instead. Or sometimes I actually like to just watch it or listen to it while I read. So maybe I'll just do that. Usually if it's like four goals in, I usually just turn it off. Because I didn't get to watch it the other night because I was at the concert. But that night we lost six to three. So uh... <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to pop in and talk about that because I totally did not even talk about hockey at all in this vlog. And so who am I really? They're actually really good. I got mild and so I think they're a success. I really like them. Apparently they're gluten free. Wow, they're actually really good. Obi has really good taste in chips. <laughs> Apparently these are really good. And I'm excited to have the rest of them with my sandwich. So good. It has like a meter on the back of like a hotness scale, which is pretty cool. But I knew as he was eating them in the book that I wanted to try them. So I'm glad I finally did. And now I might have a new favorite chip. I really like these, especially because the jalapeno is not powerful. So if you're someone who can't really deal with spice, I think you'll be fine. But it all depends. These say mild. I'm fine with spice for you. It might be different, but I really like these. And I'm going to continue eating them and finish out my lunch. And then I'm going to start reading Too Bright to See because I haven't even started it yet. And it is almost 3.30. Okay, so I just put out the next poll and asked if I should make hot chocolate or if I should make coffee because I just started Too Bright to See and I need a, I just need like a reading drink and my tongue is a little bit, uh, <laughs> my tongue is hurting from the jalapeno chips. They're really good, but they're hot. So eating a lot of them, my tongue is a little bit numb. I do have a water, but I want a fun drink to read with. So, but I want a drink to read with that is not water and to kind of like caffeinate me a little bit. So I'm going to wait maybe 20 minutes and then I'll see what the poll says. And I wanted to do another poll because I feel like I haven't really been doing many polls today. So that might be the final one. The poll says hot chocolate, so I'm gonna make some hot chocolate. <laughs> Hello, it is 9 p.m. I have gotten about 20 pages into Too Bright to See. I was watching some of the Oscars, but I am committed to reading the book right now. I'm going to sit down, listen to some of my lo-fi music, but I wanted to try the Rainbow Sherbert, so I'm going to do that right now. Also, I did not end up watching hockey. We ended up losing anyway, so really, I savored my time. I had a better time than I probably would watching the game. <laughs> Here it is. And let's try it. Oh my god, that's so good. 
Oh my god, that's so good. Listen, Obi has a really good taste, and uh, I love the book, and I am loving everything that I've gotten out of the book, especially the food choices. So I'm going to settle in for the night, hopefully finish Too Bright to See, have some of the Rainbow Sherbert, and it's going to be a great time. Later. Hello, it is April 1st and it is time to wrap up this video. This is the first good day that I've gotten any lighting or just sunlight whatsoever. So I thought it would be the perfect time to wrap up this video. So I only ended up reading Obi is Man Enough for the Queer Weekend, but I loved it so much. Since I did finish Too Bright to See, but you're gonna have to watch my wrap up to know more of my thoughts on that one. Let's talk about Obi because I love this so much. This is about a 13 year old boy named Obi who is a swimmer and he ends up getting kicked off of his team because his coach is transphobic and so he ends up going to a more inclusive team. That was just great. I really love just trans joy of like trans kids fitting in and just not having a lot of problems. However, he does encounter problems with his old friend Clyde who is also the son of his former coach and he does a lot of the bullying and transphobia so I will point out a trigger warning for transphobia and I'll have more of the trigger warnings up above and I'll also link my review down below where I do provide trigger warnings but the biggest one I would say is transphobia because there is a lot however it is just mixed in it is not going to be a book where you are going to see a lot of transphobia no joy there's a lot of trans joy happening despite the fact that Obi is dealing with a lot of transphobia going on in his life but I really have not read any trans middle grade I think ever I looked, I tried to look back, but I don't think I ever have. For this, I meant I've never read one with a trans masculine character. So Obi does have a lot of challenges in this book, but he has a really good support system around him, which I really enjoyed. There's just so many aspects that I think a lot of people and trans kids are going to be able to enjoy. And just kids in general, I think this is just a really important middle grade story. And I hope that Skylar is going to write more because this was just fantastic. I loved it so much. For March, I read a lot of middle grade for middle grade March. And what I've seen really as a pattern is that a lot of the books that are set in school have a connection. So when they are reading a certain book in school, it is connected to the story, which I really like. So Obi is reading All American Boys by Jason Reynolds, which is one of my favorite books. And I really enjoyed seeing the connections. Obi is able to connect a lot of his real life to the book and it was just really fun. Overall, I really enjoyed this. I don't want to spoil it, so I'm going to leave my thoughts here. That was Instagram Controls My Queer Weekend. Let me know if you participated in the Queer Weekend, what you read. Let's talk in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to hit subscribe because I make a lot of videos like this. I'll have some linked down below if you would like to just watch some more videos that are like this. If you want to see more bookish things from me, you can follow me over on Instagram at Pucks and Paperbacks. And I also have a podcast called Reader Rambles. And right now I'm switching it up where you will receive episodes every Tuesday. But if you're a patron, you will receive them on Mondays. It's just easier for me with editing. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video very soon. I'm excited for you to see it. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>